Hey, sis. Got a minute? What now? What's this about? So, something really cool happened recently. I was put in charge of a big project at work. Isn't that awesome? That's impressive. But can you handle it? Well, I should be fine. Doesn't matter what others think. But you need to take responsibility. I know that, but it's hard to do everything alone, so I need your help. Me? I'm not cut out for work projects. That doesn't matter. You have time, right? You're just at home. I'm busy with housework and kids. I can't help that easily. Come on! You have some free time. You can help a bit. I'm not free. I have a lot to do every day. You've always been so inflexible. You should be more flexible. Valentina, don't just push your own convenience. I'm struggling. You can help, right? I get you're having a hard time, but I have my own life too. I know that, but compared to a project, house stuff isn't a big deal, right? Don't underestimate housework. I'm busy every day. Okay, okay, I get it. But it would really help if you could assist me. Then find another way. How about this? I'll help with your housework, and you help with my project. Isn't it weird to make deals within the family? Well, you're not helping me either. I'm doing my best with my own stuff. By the way, I have another thing to discuss. There's more? What now? I want to get a new car. Can you lend me some money? Money again? You still haven't paid back what you borrowed before. Don't be so nitpicky. You live at home. So you should have some extra, right? I don't have any extra. But a little should be okay, right? Please, help me out. I can't just lend you money like that. Come on, just one more time. This will be the last time. I've heard that so many times. I can't believe you. Oh, come on. Don't be so stingy. Hey, you texted me. What's up? I'm busy too, so don't be too persistent. So, Noemi, got a minute? Valentina, what have you been doing? I've contacted you so many times. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been busy too. Can't help it. I get that you have your own stuff, but you didn't even answer the call, so I sent a message on WhatsApp. Dad's not doing well, so come to the hospital as soon as possible. Oh, I might have seen that. My bad. I usually have notifications from family turned off. Geez, why? There could be important messages, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, how's Dad? Since I didn't get a message saying he passed, he's still alive, right? Valentina... What's with that attitude? Dad's really not doing well since the start of this week. The doctor said this week is critical. Oh, really? So, it's really serious then. Hey, enough already. Dad's in a tough spot, and everything you're saying is so inappropriate. Why are you mad? I wasn't pampered by our parents like you were. Whether Dad's alive or not, I don't really care. You're terrible. Are you even his daughter? If dad knew you felt that way and mom too, they'd be heartbroken. Oh, right. Mom's still doing okay, right? Then have her visit dad in the hospital. What? What are you saying? You know mom's been having trouble with one leg since the accident three years ago. I've been living with her and taking care of her. So visiting dad at the hospital is really tough. That's why I wanted to split the responsibilities and contacted you. But when you finally respond, it's just nonsense. You really need to stop. Come on! Why are you so angry? 
I'm texting you back, right? It's not okay. Instead of wasting time talking, you should go see Dad. I don't think I will. Like I said, I'm not really close to him. Dad's over 60, right? You have to accept it as fate. What is that supposed to mean? Then just for one day, take care of Mom. I'll stay with Dad. Oh, right. I needed to talk to you about that. About that? Mom's care? Yeah, that. Noemi, you don't have to take care of Mom anymore. What? Wait, what are you suddenly talking about? You can't just spring that on me without any warning. If I don't do it, who will? I've been taking care of Mom all this time. I'll do it. From now on, I'll handle everything, so don't worry. What? Are you serious? Why are you suddenly saying this? Well, you're married and have kids, right? You're living happily with your family. And now, you have to take care of Mom too. It's obviously a burden, right? It's not a burden. She's my mother. But what's gotten into you? What are you thinking? Valentina, when Mom had the accident, you didn't even visit her. And when we talked about her care, you said, I'm out, right? I changed my mind. You know, I'm almost 29. So I thought I'd do something nice for Mom. Are you serious? You suddenly changed your mind. Isn't there something behind this? In return, can you give me all of Dad's inheritance? What? Wait a minute. Is that why you want to take care of Mom? Well, simply put, yes. But it's fine, right? I'll take good care of her. Dad would be happy too. Hold on. Taking care of Mom just for money? I can't trust you with that. You're misunderstanding. Sure, I want the inheritance, but the main reason is for you. For me? What do you mean? You've been taking care of mom all this time, right? You have a husband and kids. I'm sorry, I haven't been able to help. Even though I'm like this, I feel bad. Valentina? But asking for all the inheritance in return is a bit much. So please, Noemi, I don't have a husband, and taking care of mom on my own is tough. That's why I need dad's inheritance. Are you serious? I can't believe you're asking for the inheritance for this reason. Yes, I'm serious. I haven't been able to help until now, so this is all I can do. But I want you to be happy with your family. I'll live with mom. Fine, but keep your promise. I'll tell Dad about it. Got it. Thanks, Noemi. Give my regards to Dad. Noemi, I've been so busy. Time just flew by. That means I've been really productive, though. Can we talk about Mom? Valentina, you've been ignoring WhatsApp again, haven't you? I told you to let me know when to move mom. You ignored me for three weeks. Sorry, how's mom? She's not well, obviously. You didn't come to dad's wake or funeral, and mom was really disappointed. Come on, I was busy too. I was looking for a place to move, for mom's sake. Wait, you're moving? Yeah, I bought a new condo to live with mom. I've already paid the down payment. Down payment? Did you make sure it's suitable for mom? You said condo, but is it accessible? Accessible? What's that? What do you mean by what's that? You can't be serious. Mom has trouble walking and usually uses a wheelchair, so the house needs to be accessible. Oh, really? I had no idea. But... Whatever. I'm not going to do the caregiving anyway. I don't care about mom. What? What did you just say? Are you serious? 
I told you. I bought the condo planning to live with mom. But honestly, I can't handle caregiving. I got the condo and just want the inheritance. Caregiving is a hassle, and it's not for me. Then you get nothing. You won't get a penny of dad's inheritance. What are you talking about? I want the inheritance. No, what are you talking about? You promised to take care of mom in exchange for dad's inheritance. If you're giving up the caregiving, you have no right to the inheritance. I will never give you the inheritance. Wow, Noemi, you're really clueless, aren't you? You don't understand how the world works. It's really pathetic. What do you mean? What is it that I don't know? Spill it. Well, I met with Dad two days before he died to discuss the inheritance. He agreed to everything. What? Really? You didn't mention any of this to me. And I told him I'd take care of Mom, so I asked him to leave all the inheritance to me. I asked him to write it in his will. Dad had a will, right? He promised me, so I have the right to it. Yes, he did, but we haven't opened it yet. We need to submit it to the probate court for validation. This process is new to me, so it's taking some time. Well, I don't really understand all that, but can you open it soon? Everything will be written in there. I need it sorted out quickly. Wait a minute. If you are going to abandon mom's care, that will nullify the will. I won't allow such selfishness. You don't know, do you? A will is absolute. You have to follow dad's wishes, you know. So take care of everything. Otherwise, there will be problems. What? Valentina, wait. Valentina! Sis, I have a question. What's going on with the money? It's taking too long. Do you know how many weeks it's been? I check my account every day, but not a single cent has been deposited. Oh, Valentina, it's been a while. How's the new condo you bought on a whim? This is no time for jokes. I used all my savings for the down payment, but I promised to pay the rest in full. So hurry up and transfer the inheritance. Didn't I tell you last time? You're not getting anything. What? Look, I don't need your jokes. I asked Dad to leave all the inheritance to me. It was written in the will, remember? He even wrote that you get nothing, not even your legal share. What? What do you mean? I told you, it was written in Dad's will. If you abandon Mom's care, you get none of the inheritance, not even your legal share. What is that? That's nonsense. There's no way that's true. Whether you believe it or not, the probate court opened and verified it. It's not a mistake. Don't mess with me. I made a promise with Dad. I asked him to write that I could get the inheritance. Oh, really? Well, it was written, all assets go to the younger daughter, Valentina. What? Wait, what do you mean? So it was written. But that was only if you took care of mom, right? It said you'd inherit if you lived with mom, took proper care of her, and didn't act selfishly. What's going on? Dad tricked me. This is so unfair. Unfair? How? Who used me and mom just to get the inheritance, then abandoned mom the moment you thought you'd get the money? I didn't do anything wrong. Hey. Didn't you get the inheritance? Give it to me. No way. I'm planning to keep living with mom, and my husband and I are planning to renovate the house for her. So we'll use the money for that. I'm not giving a cent to someone like you. Calling me trash? You're kidding me. Not even the legal share? 
I don't get it. I'll sue. Do what you want, but be prepared. Even if you get a legal share, it'll probably be just a few dollars. What? What do you mean? Dad had a lot of savings, right? There's no way it could be just a few dollars. Dad was really smart, you know. I found out after he died, but when he discovered his illness, he transferred all his assets to Mom's account, just in case. What? You're joking, right? That can't be true. It's all true. So Dad didn't actually need to write a will, but he knew you were after money, so he wrote it just in case. He wanted to make sure you'd get something if you took care of Mom. He even called Mom from the hospital to tell her. No way! If I had really taken care of Mom? Yes, you would have had enough to quit your job and focus on Mom's care. But it's too late now. Wait, Noemi! I quit my job thinking I'd get Dad's inheritance. I have to pay for the condo. I can't live like this. I don't care. Anyway, Mom and I are cutting ties with you. Don't ever show your face to us again. I don't consider you my sister or family anymore. From now on, you're a stranger. What? Wait, why are you being so cold? You're my sister. Your own sister is in trouble. You should help me. That's what a sister should do. Say whatever you want. This is the result of your selfish actions. Don't bother us anymore. Goodbye. No! Noemi! After that, Valentina's life took a downward spiral. Believing she would receive Dad's inheritance, she bought a condo and quit her job, which left her with a huge debt. She paid the down payment but couldn't fulfill the promise to pay in full. The condo loan became a heavy burden, and she eventually had to give up the condo. Not only did she lose the down payment, but she was also charged a penalty. As a result, Valentina ended up with massive debt, and her life changed drastically. Now, she works multiple part-time jobs late into the night just to get by. Meanwhile, I live a peaceful and happy life with mom. Using dad's inheritance, we renovated the house, making it accessible for mom. My husband and kids also help out, and together, we create a home full of smiles, supporting mom every day. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.